Welcome to Cooking with Cohen and Just Michael. Do I have a guest for you oh, today? Oh yeah. Uh. Anyone who does not know, if, if you're a social media person, you will know this guy. You have 50, he's got 50 million followers on TikTok. He's one of the best dancers I've ever seen. And he's gonna be cooking with me today. Ooh, what are we cooking today? Uh, we are making a brie grilled cheese sandwich with some BLK drops. Blessing, okay. So, um, yeah, so it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be one of the more healthy meals that we'll be making. It looks here good, I'm excited. Uh, no, it's great. We have sourdough bread, we have some arugula, we have some uh, prunes that are optional. Of course, the brie cheese, mm -hmm. apples, and fig jam. And then we're gonna top it all off with the BLK drops, which are delicious when you add to anything. They're Amazing. Great for your detoxification, for just overall antioxidants. So, are you ready? Yeah, let's do all it. Right, let's do it. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm real. I've got like basically two left hands in the kitchen. All so, right. just FYI. Step so, one. Okay, thank we you. We get our bread. breads. And Bam. So what we're supposed to do here is basically take our ingredients and place them on the bread. Do you got that? Like a sandwich. Yeah, okay. like a sandwich. <laughs> okay. Amazing. So okay. I guess, wait, no, this is for the jam. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't really matter, yeah, does it? Yeah, no, I don't think so. All right. Is this something that you would normally, I know that you're like a big fitness person now too, and you did a boxing, uh, a boxing match. I mean, what this is, is not really probably part of your diet every day, huh? What is this outside? I don't know. I don't. It's, I don't um, this is fancy stuff. It is fancy stuff. You know, I, I just I, know. Are we supposed to be eating the out, the outside part? I don't think we are. I mean, it's pretty edible. I ate it. But did it taste okay? Uh, I don't, it tasted like well, nothing. Well, you're still alive. So yeah, I'm not dead. So okay, that's yeah. good. This is actually a, a really, this really is so delicious this is like... sandwich. It's very trendy. It's very like in vogue according Ooh. to this other girl, Jen, that I speak with fancy. quite often. Um, and so we thought we'd do something like this since we have such a great guest like you on today. So as we make this, just kind of put your stuff on here. It's like cream cheese, kind of. It is like cream, it's like fancy cream cheese. It's extremely fancy. Yeah, it's fancy cream cheese. So while we're doing this, do you want to kind of tell us a little bit about, just tell us about yourself. Give us some yeah. fun facts about you, sure. Michael. Um, I have nine toes. Really? Yeah. What happened to the other one? The last one? <laughs> My mom's laughing. I, know. I mean, that's a good fact. I mean, you know, it's crazy, yeah. That. That's a good one. We're going to get to know you really well here oh, yeah. on Cooking with Cohen. I lost my pinky toe when I was nine years old on a wow. boat accident. Um, I mean, hopefully you don't lose your appetite. <gasps> but yeah, uh, on the boat, uh, there was a compartment. And you know how usually like on the hood of a car, you have the, the, the pole that holds it up? Yeah. We didn't have that on the boat. So the boat got moved by the waves in it. Oh my god! Splattered it and um. It's like a horror film. Yep, it was bad. How old were you? Nine. Oh my gosh! Which Nine years foot old. is it on? Right, right foot. You know the kind of there is such irony in this because you are a dancer. Oh yeah. Does it not affect the dancing at all? So uh, I actually forgot how to walk. That's how long I was like not able to walk for. So when I started walking, I fell and I cried. I was like, oh my god, I'm never gonna walk again. And then I walked like ten minutes later. Really? But, yeah. And then um and then I started talking to myself at home. I was like, yeah, I'm lighter. And I was like, oh my god, because I lost until I can run faster. And I was. Oh. And then you dance. <laughs> so you, your speed, your your dancing became more speedy. Than well, I I was I wasn't a dancer before. Do you want some apples? Sure, sure. I think we have to do the jam next. Step two. Who says? It's, just, it's my sandwich, your sandwich. You're, you can do what you want. I'm you're gonna right. do this first. And then you're right. Step I'm two, do, apples. I'll, I'll, you know what, you do you and I'll do me. How's okay, that? okay, I'm gonna do jam then. Okay, you do that. Step two of mine yes. It's jam. So then basically you- Oh, what is this? Were you dancing? Were you even a dancing person before that even happened? I guess not. Um, I, I danced when I was like a kid, but it was never serious. I mean, I did a whole bunch of stuff. I did like karate, I did soccer, I did origami. I don't know, I did some random stuff. You really? Know? Yeah, it was origami. so cool. Origami's lit. Has, it's super really? fun, yeah. It's actually having it's having a resurgence right now. I feel like I see origami a lot right now. I haven't seen origami for years. Yeah, I'm, I'm a couple years older than you. I know I, know I don't look it, but um, just a couple years. And so I think with my, my age group, I think origami is a little bit, it's Apple. having a resurgence. 
See, there you go. Okay, and then I'm gonna put on my, oh, we forgot this. We also have uh, salami, if you like I, that. That's the only thing I know of here yeah. that, I, that I typically eat on sandwiches. So this is sandwiches. like, Salami? Yeah, me too. Salami. I usually I'm like a turkey sandwich and a piece of tomato. Uh huh. But this, like I said, is we're going fancy today because Very honor fancy. of you. And so honor I'm gonna, of me. Yeah, Thank and you. Then, you're welcome. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna Great. put. Oh, I got oh. some random green stuff on it too. Oh, yeah. That means well, it's gonna taste really good. So can you kind of tell us all about like not I know not in like great detail because I know we don't want to. You know, I don't want you going to go into your whole life story, but how did you kind of become so insta famous? Like, was it kind of part of the pl a grand plan? Were you kind Definitely, of I mean, happened or? I can say so many cliche things, but it's all so true. It's like you just gotta work hard and you gotta continue growing at your craft. You know, I never like stayed. I never stayed stagnant. I've always continued growing. Uh, trying new things, figuring out what was bad and good about my content, and then growing from there and making it better. So, throughout yeah. five years of work, you know, paid off. It, it sure did. And like, right. at, you know, what you did tell me off of camera, which I thought was so amazing, was that raisins. That's a yeah. He thinks he thinks a prune is a raisin. They're I giant it's a, raisins. I say I, it's a plum. I ate one before, and it, it's a raisin. It what? literally is just a fat raisin. It's a fat raisin or a fat plum. Now you there can you tell go. us if you leave a comment below what you think this is. Do you think a prune is a plum or a raisin? And then we will no, see what the majority think about that. All right. You and know? then. But what I was going to say is that in the last two years is when you really kind of just exploded onto the scene. And it was because of all the hard work you did prior to that, that kind of. Yeah. It's never, it's never just like a, a one, no, never. Oh, you know, like a, a overnight success. It's, it looks like it sometimes, but it's definitely not. No, absolutely not. And you work hard still. Your whole family does too, right? Your mom does it. Your sister does it. Your brothers do it. It's like a whole family. My family yeah, I'm trying to get my family into it way more, but you know, it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, you know, we forgot one big thing, the most important thing. BLK drops. Yes, I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna give you some. Thank By the you. way, have you ever tried these drops before? I have. I actually use it like every day. You do? Yeah. You if I don't have, water? yeah. If I don't have like the black BLK waters, then I'll, I'll use the drops. Yeah. But I've never actually had it in food, so this is the first time. You know what I like about it? It's there's no. It's tasteless, and it adds an extra kick of healthy vitamins, healthy antioxidants. It's like I said, it's great for helping your, your food absorb the nutrients. So it's a very easy thing to add to any food. And also it looks really cool. So that's another Phenomenal. added bonus. How many so should I add? I added two I just, drops. You know what? I add, a, I add a bunch more because I like to have- Trying to compa compete? Yeah, don't oh, compete. Yeah, well, you know. I got three if now. If you're competitive, you may want to put like, yeah. I think that's there a lot. Go. That's a lot. Wow. Really? Yes. Yeah, I add this in a whole bottle of water, so I don't- Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. I mean, but you know, you only need a few drops. A few <laughs> drops actually does go a long way, but I'm just an extreme person, as I believe you are. From there the we go. It, so. See, this is what I did. I and that's it. how you make a sandwich. This is how you do it. And we're not done yet. Oh, we're, we're not, not even close to oh, yeah. being done. We oh, yeah, we got close. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put butter on the outside of it, and then we grill it because it's oh, a grilled yeah, grilled yeah, cheese yeah. sandwich. True, true, true. So you can't just like you can't technically. Wait, don't we just put the butter in there? Well, you can do either. You can, yeah, let's do that. Okay. It's easier. It is much easier because it's like the butter is gonna be on the yeah. Yes, that's actually very true. Let's do true. that. See. That's why, Genius. That's that's why, why I here. wanted you to come today. Oh, yeah. You're right. I was trying to be, I thought maybe you were, you know, you told me you work out a lot. You told me you you, you want to, you, you might need some extra calories to kind of maintain your workout regime. I don't I know. That. What kind of workouts do you like to do? I love calisthenics. Okay, like what, what kind of stuff is that? Calisthenics is like body workouts, but like the cool stuff like on the bars where you can like hold yourself up like crazy or like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I like those body stuff. weight. But you're not, do you do any weight training or not really? Um, Not really. I am going like to soon. Training. But uh, yeah, I mean, I started adding like weights to my calisthenics, if anything. Okay. And dancing in itself is crazy good cardio. Definitely, right? so yeah. You don't need like much more for that. Do you do anything else? Like, do you do boxing, um, yoga? Love yoga. Oh yeah, we'll put your mine in there. Put your sandwich in there. All right, there we go. And um, boxing, yoga, calisthenics, and dancing. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. And uh, yeah. last thing, guys, is uh, close it.
How yes. long? How long do we close? And we should keep it in for about what, like five minutes mm. all together. So maybe two. two and a half minutes each side would there. be perfect. Yeah. And then it'll be nice and crispy. And then that's it. Super easy. This is a super easy recipe. Mm -hmm. And if you want to just to kind of just enhance a regular grilled cheese sandwich, doing it with the brie is the way to go. And of course, don't forget the BLK drops because that makes it even that much better. And of course, add the health factor into it. Delicioso. Now we wait. Yes. I don't have a watch. <laughs> All right, so we just took our sandwiches, our brie grilled cheese sandwiches out of the oven. Delicioso. And they look delicious. Very, very good. Uh, what is your favorite food? Before we even like bite into this, I want to know what you eat. Like, what is your favorite food? I like anything, honestly. I, if it's good, I like, uh, I'm a man of, of a palate. Man of your... A man of taste and palate. I like my palate to be huge. 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 You know, Spoken so like a real man, yep, twenty-one year old. Yep, exactly. Uh, so, would you be eating? Would you eat this on a normal day? No, uh, I've never had any of this, but it looked good, so I'm I'm excited. Do you do a lot of protein? Because I know the fitness. I do a lot of protein. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, I like rice and chicken or or poke. Oh yeah, the love poke. poke. I love, love poke. poke. Yeah, you yeah. know, we should do that next time. We should bring you back on, and we'll do poke with those drops. Yeah, okay, drop. Yeah. yeah, I like that. All right, you ready to take a stab at this sandwich? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, ready? All right, yes. One, ooh, ooh, it's juicy. Mm. All right, one, mmm. Yum, okay. me, ready? <laughs> oh, that's buffing. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. You like it? I it's love it. It's super sweet. You know why it's sweet? Because of those prunes, maybe raisins. And the apple. And the apples. Mm -hmm. And you know, jam. And no, it, oh my it's god, really caramelized. Good. The apples got caramelized a lot. They're really good. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's good. So basically, <sighs> this is what we do here on Cooking with Cohen. So if you have not subscribed yet, press the button below and subscribe. And um, leave us oh a comment. God. And we will see you next time mm. with uh, another fabulous guest just like Michael. Michael. Before you go, tell us where people can see you or find you if they don't yet already know who you are and want to. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube at Just Michael or Michael Lee, whichever one you'll you'll find me. J U S T M A I K O. Yeah, boy. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for coming. Thank you. Yeah. First. You know what we should do? Hmm? Of course. Mm. Let's cheers to be okay. Yes. Gotta mm. shake mm. it. You know, with our hands are kind of like, right? Cheers. Cheers. Wow, you're thirsty.